quadcopters, tanks, sniper rifles, and machine guns. These weapons of war reportedly wreaked havoc on the Nasser Hospital in Khan Yunis as Israeli troops stormed the largest medical facility in southern Gaza on February 15 after days of besieging the complex, forcing everyone inside to evacuate and flee for their lives. Apart from providing treatment to those wounded in Israeli attacks and others suffering from diseases, the hospital was also sheltering thousands of Palestinians displaced from the war. Raid Abed was among those displaced from the hospital who was receiving treatment for a stomach injury there and is now at the Abu Yusuf Al Najjar Hospital. I was in Nasser Hospital. They besieged us for five to six days. No one was allowed to enter or leave. The quadcopter was shooting, and there were snipers. They sent us the day before yesterday night to leave in the morning at 10 o'clock. A group left. I got up to leave because they said the wounded also had to leave. I got up, got dressed, walked two steps, then fell to the ground. Israeli forces reportedly demolished the southern wall of the hospital before storming inside. Troops also targeted ambulances and tents of the displaced and bulldozed mass graves inside the hospital, as per Gaza's health ministry. The assault came hours after Israeli forces bombed a wing of the hospital, killing one patient and wounding several others. Meanwhile, the Israeli Defense Forces, or IDF, has ordered the medical staff to transfer all patients to another wing of the complex, including those in the intensive care unit and the nursery. Dr. Khalid Alser, one of the last remaining surgeons inside the hospital, in an audio interview to Democracy Now!, described the situation inside the medical complex amid what sounded like Israeli bombardment in the background. Actually, the, the situation here in the hospital at this moment is in chaos. All of the patients, all the relatives, refugees, and also the medical staff are afraid because of what happened. Uh, we could not imagine that uh, at any time the Israeli army will bomb the hospital directly uh, and they will kill patients and medical personnel directly by bombing the hospital building. Yesterday also uh, Israeli snipers and Israeli quadcopters, which is a drone, carry on it an AR uh, and with a sniper. They shot all over the building and they uh, shot my colleague, Dr. Karam. He has a shrapnel inside his head. I can upload for you a CT for him. You can see, it's, alhamdulillah, it, it was superficial, nothing serious, but a lot of bullets inside the, their bedroom and their restroom. Later, Dr. Alser posted a video showing how all the patients in the surgery department in the hospital had to be moved to an old building in the complex in a crammed corridor. The next day on February 16, Dr. Alser posted on Instagram that the hospital was out of electricity, drinking water, and even tap water while warning that six patients in the intensive care unit would eventually die. Echoing the message, Gaza's health ministry spokesperson Ashraf al Kudra said that Israeli troops were forcing 95 medics, 191 patients, and 165 displaced people into an old building at the medical center under harsh conditions without water, food, or milk for the children. Meanwhile, displaced Palestinians in the vicinity of the hospital are not safe either. <laughs> The Israeli army has accused Hamas of using the medical compound to hold captives. It also claimed to have found two Hamas fighters and one militant from the Popular Front for the Liberation of Palestine inside the Nasser Hospital complex. IDF Special Forces were compelled to operate in the Nasser Hospital to fulfill our mission of finding our hostages and hunting down the terrorists that kidnapped them from Israel in the first place. Three confirmed terrorists we found are Mu'ed Adel Muhammad Abu Nasera, ambulance driver for the Hamas terrorist organization, took part in the massacre of October 7th, conf confessed of transporting a hostage from the border with Israel into the Gaza Strip. 
Ismail Ahmed Aliuda confessed to taking part in the massacre of October 7th. Amru Khaled Shkade Abu Rida, a known terrorist of the PLFP terror organization. The Palestinian group, which governs Gaza, has vehemently denied allegations of using medical facilities to hold hostages. The Israeli military said it opened a secure route to allow civilians to exit while medics and patients could remain inside. However, medical NGO doctors without borders, or MSFs, said those sheltering inside were afraid to leave after reports that people were shot on their way out. The nonprofit said one of its colleagues remains unaccounted for and another being detained by Israeli troops at a checkpoint set up outside the hospital to screen people leaving the compound. Nasser Hospital has been under siege for around three weeks. The bodies of several people killed by Israeli sniper fire in the hospital compound have been lying on the ground for days because it is too unsafe for staff to reach them, reports Al Jazeera, which has journalists on the ground. The World Health Organization has described Nasser Hospital as a critical facility for all of Gaza, where only a minority of hospitals are even partly operational. World Health Organization Chief Tedros Adhanom Ghebreyesus said on February 14 that he was alarmed by reports from Nasser Hospital, which he described as the backbone of the health system in southern Gaza. Israeli forces across the Gaza Strip have repeatedly besieged and raided hospitals, alleging that the facilities are being used as command centers by Hamas fighters, without providing evidence that has been verified by an independent organization. WHO has documented 721 attacks on healthcare in the occupied Palestinian territory since October 7. Out of, out of those 721, 357 attacks in the Gaza, resulting in 645 fatalities and 818 injuries. Health facilities uh, are protected under international humanitarian law uh, and we keep really repeating our appeal to all parties of the conflict to respect that. In October, in the first 36 hours of the assault on Gaza, Israel killed dozens of healthcare workers. By the end of November, 30 of Gaza's 36 hospitals had been hit by Israeli rockets. Currently, only six of Gaza's hospitals remain partially functional as Israel prepares to launch an assault on Rafah, the last refuge of displaced Palestinians, sheltering about 1.4 million of the 2 million total population of the besieged enclave.